So what we're gonna be doing today is a Zentangle project. This will be our first big project. And what you will need is to get one of your pieces of paper out. So I'm just gonna take one of these out. Make sure you keep this in a safe spot, keep it flat and clean. You're going to need one of your pencils. And if you open up your bag, you should have two Sharpies. So that's all we're gonna need for this project. So you can take the rest of this and set it aside. Okay, so what we're making is a landscape. It can be a landscape, actually just an outdoor scene. It could be a cityscape, it could be a seascape. Whatever you make is up to you, but what we're gonna be doing is starting with pencil and <clears throat> kind of mapping out your uh, main organic shapes. Uh, or they could be geometric if you're doing like a cityscape. But I'm gonna start out, you need about 15. Start with a pencil, because you might wanna erase, like that could be a hill. This could be a hill. Uh, we need about 15. Your paper could go the other direction if you want. It's up to you, maybe you have a tall tree that you wanna put in there. But what you're gonna need is at least 15 shapes. I'm gonna draw a tree. and I already need to erase right there. So go ahead and fill in your paper, but you need at least 15 shapes. bush over here. Okay, and then once you have that drawn out and you're happy with it, um, here's some other examples. And you know, I have examples in uh, a slide presentation that should be in this post. Um, with this video but and there are examples these examples are in there but you know you can have all sorts of landscapes <clears throat> but notice everything is a shape what you don't want to do is have a line that just comes out like that you would have to either finish that off or erase it everything should be an enclosed shape okay no lines left hanging anywhere. And then you're gonna start with the bigger Sharpie, which is your fine point Sharpie. And you're going to outline all the lines you just drew. <clears throat> then get your eraser and erase any of your stray pencil marks. Okay, and now you're ready to start Zentangling. Now, please feel free to search Zentangle Landscapes to get more ideas other than what I'm showing you here and in the slides. Um, and you'll get ideas for pattern. But at this point, you wanna start figuring out what it is you wanna do. Um, you know, maybe this needs to be light because it's the sun. Uh, maybe you alternate light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. You need to figure out what you want to be light and what you want to be dark. Like when I did this one, I definitely wanted this part of the sky to be dark because I wanted it to look like it was nighttime and the moon was coming up. Um, I thought it needed to be really dark and then I needed my clouds to be lighter uh, so that they stood out from the background. I wanted my moon to be the main thing that you saw. So I left that totally white. 
uh, and it's the only thing that I loved white. So pay attention to things like how dark you want them to be or how light you want them to be to pop out. Here's another example of one. You can see how this one's darker and this one's a little bit lighter than that and that the sky is lighter because it is the daytime. So pay attention, try to balance those darks and lights out. Like here's a dark, really dark, and then this one's also pretty dark as well as these three. If you don't, if you're having a hard time seeing that, it helps to squint your eyes and just kind of look at it barely through the slits of your eyes and it helps me see the different shades better. So try to balance that out. Notice also the bigger your shapes that you fill in, the darker it's going to be. Um, also, and let me zoom in on some of this. I want you to notice how I have handled, um, you know, I, I started with the thick Sharpie. I took this and divided this shape with this wavy line with the thick Sharpie. But then all of these ovals, every single one of them, are done with the ultra fine. With this one, everything is done with the ultra fine except for these large areas that are black. Uh, with this one, all of this ultra fine. All of this ultra fine. So use this to do most of your pattern. And it'll say right here, ultra fine point. Uh, so do most of your pattern with this, but if you have large areas to fill in like this, or some of these lines are a little bit thicker, you know, feel free to go back and use the, the thicker Sharpie. So the majority of your pattern in this, and then this to fill in large spaces.